guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of the JW Pew bags or pie bags. I think that's how you say it. I'm going to leave the label here so you can pronounce it for yourself. If you haven't been here before, my channel is Skin Influencer and I do videos on skin health, fashion and beauty. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are interested in these topics. Make sure you also hit the like button because this video is going to be a good one. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. So this is the first bag that we're going to be looking at. This is called the mini flat bag and it is in beige canvas. Now I discovered this bag from a YouTuber and I cannot remember her name anymore. Uh, it was just a random video and I was like, that bag that she has is absolutely amazing. Like, where is that bag from? It looks designer, it looks um, expensive. Um, and that is how I kind of discovered the brand. I've seen them on Instagram before. I'm gonna leave um, a little link or I'm gonna show you guys their Instagram um, account. They've basically been retargeting me on their Instagram. So I've seen their bags on Instagram, but I just wasn't sure whether I should make a purchase. It was only when I saw this YouTuber, and I, I, I cannot believe I can't remember her name, but it's only when I saw her with this bag, it was like, yes, I'm gonna definitely invest in a nice, like, summer spring bag like this. So this is the mini flap. It opens up differently. So you kind of have to click this button underneath, and then it opens up like this. And then again, there's the compartment so I think here is a place where you can put like your cards or your keys and then maybe your phone in here and then maybe some larger objects in here um, you can just see like the label and stuff that is still left in there but um, I love I love this bag the only problem that I have with this bag um, is that it's kind of hard um, when I first got it, I kind of, you really have to kind of wear these bags to make them like more flexible, I guess. They're just really, really hard, which is great because they get to keep their shape, but they're just very, like, they were, they were almost too sturdy, um, when I've got them, but they've started to bend and flex the more I've used them. So, um, I'm happy with that. I'll leave a clip on how I wear it and show you guys um how like you get to dress it up it comes with this long flap flap sorry it comes with this long handle um and this is the kind of, kind of handle that i wish the lillian bag had um the lillian bag doesn't have a long handle i don't know if you can potentially buy a long handle for the lillian bag but this flap came unattached and then you attached it on the side um, with the hooks and then yeah I absolutely love this bag um, it's a really good one for spring and summer so I think I'm going to be wearing this one a lot more than this one up until maybe autumn autumn time so this is the first bag that I bought this is called the Lillian bag and I love everything about this bag this is probably my favorite bag out of all of them I love the handle um, I kind of wish that there was a longer handle or some kind of attachment that I could add to make it longer. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave you guys a clip of how it looks um, on, like on me. Um, if you open it as well, it has quite a lot of space. It's quite roomy in there. Oh, I think there's a, I think that's my phone that I left in there. But um, basically you have quite a bit of space to put inside so i have my phone in here but you can also put your phone i guess in the front pocket and then that will give you kind of more space and then you also have a zip um compartment at the back where you can put in like your debit card or your i guess you can't put your phone in here yeah you can't put your phone in here but maybe like your car your your cards or your keys um in there I like that this bag feels a lot looser. It feels a lot more, um, I guess, less hard than the flap, than the um, canvas bag that I have. It feels a lot more like I can use this every day. Like the more I use it, the softer it gets. Um, it's a very, very classic style. It's very kind of like essential 
you know minimalistic basic look which I, which is what I was going for I think what inspired me to get this bag was um, there was a bag on the curated called the classic shoulder bag and I have been looking at this bag for ages it's around 200 and something pounds and it's all the way in Australia and I love this bag because I remember Emma Hill um, did a video review of it and I was just like I'm not spending £139 on this bag I'm not having it shipped from Australia and with customs etc so I was like I need to find like a cheaper alternative so when I was on the JW Pew site that was the first bag that entered my car I was like I have to get this bag because it's literally everything that I love it's very basic it's very minimal minimalistic um, and very classic so that to me was like the push to purchase to actually even place an order to be honest so a little bit about JW Pew I'm just gonna call them Pew because I honestly don't know how to pronounce them I'm just gonna call them JW Pew so with them um, they do vegan leather handbags but their bags are they're designed to be luxury without the luxury price um, which I like I like that concept now I'm not really a huge lover of vegan leather I actually prefer real leather I'm I'm not vegan um, I like leather goods however I do like non leather goods that are built to look and feel like leather I like the fact that they have some t some type of quality them they're, they're not just like plastic plastics um, vegan leather basically is anything that isn't real leather like I feel like sometimes people use vegan leather as like this this kind of marketing term but really and truly if you were to go to Primark if you were to go to H&M if you were to go to Zara if you go to go to Mango any high street stores any store that doesn't do like leather goods um, their bags of the bag is vegan so it, it, it doesn't really make any it doesn't to me it doesn't make any difference to me it's just about the quality itself um but i feel like their material their vegan leather material is made to feel like it and look like and smell like it's um it's real leather i like that the the bags are quality which is why you're paying 50 pounds because like in the, on a normal high street you would pay maybe 40 maybe 30 40 pounds for a bag like this you wouldn't maybe pay 50 pounds but um, I was happy paying £50 for these bags. Um, actually, I think the price of my bags was like £52 each because I, I had a discount code. I used a discount code um, for them. So JWP, they often do discounts on their website. If you don't see a discount on their website, subscribe to their email list. They will definitely send you a coupon code or you might get a coupon code from Instagram. But they usually do at least 10% um, off. I had a 10% off coupon code, so I used that. Um, so each of my bags came up to around £52, it wasn't too expensive. Um, but the shipping took long, the shipping came from China. Um, it took around almost like, I want to say three to four weeks to arrive. And these were for bags that were in stock. So I guess if you can afford to like wait around it's fine. But at the, f at the, on the honestly on the third week I was getting kind of frustrated and I was just like, are my bags gonna come like like what's happening it might also be it might also be down to the fact that we are in the middle of a pandemic and there's a lot of like shipments and things being checked from china or whatever but that's the only gripe i had was that the shipping kind of took long just on the topic of um shipments from china i'm aware that some of these bags or some styles of these bags are available on sites like alibaba the only problem I have with buying from Alibaba is that JWP have established themselves as a as a store, as a brand, as somewhere to, to buy these goods and you could buy it from China but you don't know what you're getting when you order through sites like Alibaba and the like just because you don't know their distributors, the quality could be a little bit different um, and I didn't want to take that risk even though like some of the bags were cheaper they were like 15 pounds so see a lot of the snakeskin handbags and i'll leave like a picture describing the kind of bags i'm talking about can be found on alibaba for like 15 pounds um but i don't know i'm not too sure on like terms of the quality if the quality is going to be the same um so that is like a risk 
that you take with kind of like buying from these kind of stores and these sites is that you want to make sure that you're buying from somewhere that is legit so that's it guys that's the review i hope you found this useful if you are interested make sure you like this video make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can be notified on more of my future videos i'm going to be doing more fashion related videos because i am aware that i have been slow to upload them um make sure you check them out and i will see you in the next one bye guys